In today's video, I'm going to answer the question I've been asked more than any other question. How do I make my videos? This is another flipped classroom tutorial. And here we are on my laptop. Now I will walk you through the exact process of how I make my videos. Now, first of all, I use a number of different softwares. The main two are Audacity and Camtasia. Now Camtasia is used for my screen recording. There are alternatives available. So by all means, have a look online or on my website. You can use Snagit, Screencastify. There's a couple of free extensions such as Loom and Hippo Video that you can use. But I prefer Camtasia because it gives me the editor as well. Now this is by TechSmith and I will leave a link in the description below. Another piece of software I use is Audacity and I use Audacity to clean up the audio. Now I'll show you in a minute how that works. So let's go ahead and open up Camtasia. Now as you can see I've got Camtasia open and the first thing you'll notice is in the top left corner if you've never used Camtasia before this is how you start recording the screen. Now when you are recording your screen you can select the dimensions and you can select various input audio devices. Now I will not go into the details of how Camtasia works but if you're interested please let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to make some videos on how to use Camtasia go ahead and under media we will find a pre-recorded video clip or a screen recording. Now this screen recording has both video and audio and the first step is to clean up our audio. So let's go ahead and add all our cuts, everything, cut everything out we don't want to keep and then we are going to go to share and we are going to export the audio only. Now, why do we do that? Well, we do this so we can pull it into Audacity. So let's go ahead and type audio only file one, and we're just going to save this under our downloads. There we go. We're going to minimize Camtasia because now we are done using Camtasia for this very moment. We're going to open up Audacity and in Audacity, we are going to pull in that file. So let's go ahead and open up our file explorer or just simply navigate to where your file is. I'm going to open up my file. So go ahead and drag this file into Audacity and we are going to create a copy. Now in Audacity, what I tend to do is I tend to use three main filters or effects. Now the ones that I will use is a noise reduction, I will also normalize my audio track and I use a compressor. Once all that has been done, I will add a limiter, which is a hard limiter, which is going to cut it off at 0.5 decibels. That way you don't have that audio clipping in your track. Now, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to leave the track as it is, so we don't have to render a new audio track. But once you've finished, what you are going to do is you are going to take your newly edited audio track and simply drag and drop it into Audacity. Now this will be dragged onto a new track up here. Now as you can see this is the original recording, this is the edited recording, so what we're going to do next is simply delete this original recording. You now have the new edited audio and the visual recording. You can simply select both, right click and group these. This means that you can now move this around as if it was a single file. Right, now on to my introduction of my videos and my end card. Where and how do I make those? Well, in my library, I have a couple of pre created assets. Now the first asset I'm going to go and get is my intro. So let's go ahead and scroll down and let's get this intro. There we go. Now I'm not going to dive into the nitty gritty of how this intro was created, but this was made within Camtasia. If you'd like to see some tutorials on how this was done, please let me know in the comments and I would be more than happy to make some Camtasia videos. We're going to make sure that everything is lined up neatly. We're going to get our screencast right just now, behind nice. that and then all that's left for us to add is our end screen now again the end screen was made in camtasia so we can simply drag that in there we go let's preview the end screen okay and there it is on top of my recording now we can even go a bit more to the front Sounds better. there we go and it looks again it looks it. very okay. professional very easy to do once you've got those assets built now i'm also going to add a sub reminder halfway through this looks something like this there we go the logo and a sub reminder 
all done. Now the final two things I do with my videos is I add a background music track and I also add some video b-roll to make it more interesting. So let's go ahead and get that b-roll. We're going to go to Pixabay. I'm going to get some b-roll of a person typing and I'm going to select videos. And there we go. This is going to find me some videos. I can use any of these videos. I'll use this one and I'm going to download. And as you can see, this video is a Creative Commons Zero video, which means I am allowed to use this for commercial usage and no attribution is required. So let's go ahead and drag this file into Camtasia and there we go. Now, if you are going to reuse these files and the B-roll, I highly recommend that you keep everything in the same folders and that you have a clear folder structure before dragging it into Camtasia. Let's see what this looks like. And there we go, we have our B-roll in the background and we have our titles. Perfect, we're going to copy this file over. So let's just right click and copy and we're going to use it again at the end of our file. There we go, where we have our end screen. So what we will have now is it? the introduction okay. of the end screen and then the person typing again. Now, if you'd like to add some audio to this as well, simply right click, insert a track below, and this is where you can now drag and drop your audio track, your background music. Now, again, if you are making videos for YouTube or for students, good practice is that you always double check the copyright. Do not use copyright protected music in your videos. And that's all there is to it. And once you finish this, go to share local file and you are going to export the MP4 file. Now, for the sake of this demonstration, we're going to export it as a 1080p file. This will save us a little bit of rendering time. We're going to call this test video and we are going to store it again in our folder. Now, for the sake of the demo, this goes in the download folder, save this and click on finish. This will now begin the render of your file. Now, once your render is completed, the file will play back to you. So let's go ahead and give it a minute. And as we're getting close to the end of our render, I'd like you to remember to like, subscribe and share this video out. Right, there we go. We are now at 95%. This render will finish and the video will play back to us. And there we go. This video is now playing back. It has all the little effects, the intros and the end card. Let's go all the way to the end. And there we go. We have our end card. I hope you found this video helpful. Do let me know in the comment section what else you would like to see. Thank you for watching. And there you have it. That's how I make my videos. Don't forget to leave a comment below how you make your videos and what you would like to learn next about my workflow. Now, I thank you for watching. Do check out one of the other videos that you will see here linked on this card and I will see you in the next one.